If you died right now, would you leave bills or benefits? I'm going to leave behind benefits. Bills? Well, I'll leave both. Benefits and bills. Benefits. And bills. I leave shoes, jewelry. I got a little something saved. I got an insurance policy, but I got some, I got some bills, too. That's a funny question. As a child, my family did not teach me about money because we didn't really have a lot of money growing up. We didn't have a lot, a lot of conversations about it. Other than, is it possible I can get a nickel or a dime or a quarter? So we didn't realize we were being tricked to be a consumer. Until this day, some of us are still consumers because we're still trying to be fresh. Louis Vuitton don't want black folks in their clothes. Gucci don't want black folks in their clothes. But we kill ourselves to go give the people that hate us the most our money. We're just kind of living and we're doing it and going on, but not really taking um, close inventory of what we're spending. Listen, sisters, I love me some red bottoms just like the next person, but I think it is absolutely ignorant and insane and crazy to be more focused on getting another pair of red bottom shoes when you don't even have a red bottom bank account. And these kids running around the internet beating each other up for world star. You got all this other stuff they got to worry about that they don't sit down and say, this is a dollar, this is a quarter, this is a dime, this is a nickel. And, and that's what I think the issue is. So if I don't know myself, you give me a billion dollars, I'll act like I don't know who the f I am. I'm gonna be in the strip club and throwing it away. Everybody on Instagram appears rich, particularly to the rest of the world. Black people, we are the single richest African community on the face of the globe. And it makes absolutely no sense that we have poverty. Uh, in 1910, for instance, we own, uh, uh, we own more businesses per 100,000 African Americans than we do today. Because right now, 99% of the blacks are the resource in the countries under the hands of whites. 87% of it is frozen, locked into their hands. So how, how are black folk gonna compete? Living in America, I've witnessed very small portions of land and wealth be transferred from one generation to the next. With $1.1 trillion in buying power, what's prohibiting our team from pooling our talents and winning in society? And see, the problem is we get paid on Friday, get drunk on Saturday, go to church on Sunday, and then go back to work on Monday. We can say it's the, the best of times and the worst of times. We're a $1.1 trillion annual economy. If we were a nation, we'd be the 16th richest nation in the entire world. We've been taught the wrong things about money. We've been taught that money is a result rather than what it really is, is a tool. If I would have understood that early on at a younger age, I would have been way further along in my career than, you know, things just now started to happen. What can we do to ensure that we're leaving a legacy for our children? Make sure that you are surrounding yourself with people that have the information and the knowledge of what you need in order to grow to the next level. We need to make sure that you do have something so your children don't have to start at ground zero That's again right. when you right. pass away. That's or right. even right. negative from having to put you in the ground. That's right. right. right.